Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Polygons, Quadrilaterals, Properties of Quadrilaterals, Types of Quadrilaterals wherein we will talk about Parallelogram, Rectangle, Rhombus and Square. Now when you talk about shapes, you see a variety of shapes around you. In fact, there are so many objects that we see around us and these objects have so many different shapes. Now, look at some of the examples. For example, star. When you look at the shape of a star, it has four sharp arms which are seen very distinctly. Again, when you compare the shape of a star with that of a sun, do you think that they have similar shapes? Not really. A sun is like more of a sphere, a, a circular shape. Again, when you compare these things with something like a door or the window, so what are their shapes? So they are somewhat in the shape of uh, a rectangle. Now, these are the shapes that we are going to talk about in more detail in this lesson. You think of a kite. The shape of a kite, again the shape of a kite and the shape of the door, they are not exactly similar. They are different from each other but at least both of these are like kind of formed by line segments. But still they are also different from each other. You think of the shape of a heart, that's again quite a different shape. So there are so many objects around us and we see all of them with different and distinct shapes. So in this lesson, we are going to analyze these shapes. Now analyzing these shapes, we have concluded that curves can be of two types. It can either be a closed curve or it can be an open curve. So what is a closed curve? Closed curve is one which has no end points. So basically it encloses an area within it. So look at these uh, images. So in all of these shapes, what do you see? You see that there is there is no con there, there is no concept of start point and end point. You don't know from where it, it started, from where you started drawing this. Because you really can't determine looking at this. There is no start point, no end point. At the same time, there is some area enclosed within it. For example, here this is the area enclosed. Here this is the area enclosed. Here this is the area enclosed. So basically these type of shapes, they form a boundary. So they enclose the entire region within that boundary. So these are called closed curves. Now the other type of curve, they are called open curve. Now what are open curve? So these curves, they do not have they do have end points but they do not have any area enclosed so let us look at some of the images here so these shapes if you see this is the start point this is the end point or it could be vice versa as well but you can actually very distinctly see these two points so you know from where it started you know from where it ended so basically the, the end points exist Similarly, you look at this line segment. Here also you have two distinct points from where it started and from where it ended. Look at this angle. Here also you have, even though the shape is like half is it not a straight line or a straight curve, but still you have two end points. Now here, do you think that there is any area enclosed within this curve? No. When you draw a line, there is no area enclosed by the line. So everything on either side of the line is like free and open. So the line doesn't enclose any area. Similarly, you look at this angle. So is this area an area enclosed? No, because it is open from here, right? So anybody can come, anybody can go. So it is not completely enclosed. Now so to enclose this area, there should have been another line segment here. And the moment we draw another line here, it becomes a closed curve. So it, do not, it doesn't remain an open curve anymore. So this is how we can distinguish between the closed curves and the open curves. Now when you look at so many variety of shapes, you actually get to see a, a, a huge number of them. right? So looking at them, when you start analyzing, you come up with a lot of distinction. So this was the first distinction. So a very simple example I would like to illustrate which would tell you that how can how can an object be an open curve and how can it be a closed curve. So for an instance let's say you take a rope. Now as long as the rope is like kept straight 
is it an open curve or a closed curve it is an open curve because you can see the two ends of the rope distinctly so this would be an open curve but the moment you fold the same rope to form a loop like this what happens you do not see the open and the uh, you do not see the end points anymore because you see it is like bound like this so you do not see it it's closed moreover it encloses an area within it so this is the area enclosed by this rope so in this case what kind of curve is this this is a closed curve so this is how we can distinguish between open curve and closed curve now similarly when we analyze it further we also find that curves again can be of two types depending on their complexity so they could be simple curves they could be non simple curves now what are simple curves so these are those curves which do not cross themselves so let us look at some examples so when you look at these curves now when we talk about simple and non simple curves they are independent of open and closed curves so when we are talking about simple curve a simple curve can be an open curve it can also be a closed curve so you can have simple open curve you can also have simple closed curve now if it is a simple curve that means the curve will never cross itself so that's very important now when you look at these images this is the curve now this curve never crossed itself never intersected itself similarly when you look at a closed curve like this this is a simple closed curve because you see the curve never you know crossed itself now what do i mean by crossing itself so for that let's look at the images of non simple curve so the non simple curve they would cross themselves so let's look at these images so here you see the same curve which was like if this is a curve then this is a sim this is a simple curve but the moment this curve crosses itself like this it becomes a non simple curve because at this point the curve crosses itself now the same type of crossing happens in each of these images and therefore these are non simple curves so that's how we can say that we can have simple open curve and we can also have simple closed curve now why are we talking about all this because we should have some idea about various shapes before we start talking about quadrilaterals because quadrilateral also is a specific type of shape so with this i think it's clear which is a simple curve which is a non simple curve thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you